For years, I've been searching for the holy grail of media players. Have I found it with this device? We will find out. This is Cool's latest device. It is Google certified and Netflix 4K certified. I wish to thank Cool for sending me their latest device. Mikul has been producing these devices for many years and about three years ago they started having them Google certified. Ever since then about every three months they produce a different device that has Google certification. Now this particular box here has a Netflix certification so it should play Netflix in 4K but we are going to find out. Here's the contents of a box. Here's the manual. This is the manual the device. This is the power adapter. Now be noted this is a 12 volt 1 amp. So most of these boxes are 5 volts. So what I will probably do is color code this uh, connector to indicate that it is a 12 volt so I don't burn my other boxes out. As with most of these boxes it comes with an HDMI cable. Now this is very new because this is a Google reference remote it has buttons that Google recommended, even though some of these may not be operational with the software. And that one I think is supposed to be a guide for TV guide. And this one here is uh, supposed to be for collections. So I don't know if that will be implemented in this box, but this device, this device is the state of the art. You got the power button, you got a return button, and you got a home button. You got Netflix. Google Play, YouTube, and Prime Video. So that's what it looks like. Here's the device itself. It's fairly heavy, but again, it is all plastic. Here's the side, and it's got a TF uh, card, which is a micro card slot, a USB 3 port, and a USB 2 port. It's also got a physical power button. And here's for your power 12 volt 1 amp, which has got it listed. There's your LAN, that's your Ethernet, your HDMI. Now, interesting, this is the HDMI 2.1 port, which is the state of the art. And then you've got an AV port for your older TV sets. I may show you that later. And it's got SPDIF for your fiber optic audio. And there's your IR port. Nothing on this side. Now, on the front, you have some LEDs. On the bottom, you have the pads for sitting it on your stand. I would not call myself an expert on these Android TV boxes, but I do have a lot of experience with them. This is the grandfather of the Android TV operating system. This is the Google ADT-1 Developer's Box. The next Google certified device was the Nexus Player. This is the NVIDIA Shield, and it is the king of the Android TV boxes. It's been around for two or three years, but it still has not been knocked off the throne. Okay, this is the device. Let me call KM2. And there's all your supported uh, apps. Now here's what I want to point your attention to. This HDMI 2.1 with HDCP 2.3. Now that is state of the art. Audio codex. It's got W Digital, W Digital Plus, and MS12, whatever that is. And Dolby Admiral's pass-through. Video codex. Got the HEVC. Audio or HDR video codecs, you got HDR10+, HDR, and HLG. And here's your DRM info. So that's what I want to show you right there. That is the state of the art. Okay, let's see what this puppy can do now. Now we're going to find out if this box is indeed the holy grail of media players that I've been searching for my whole life. As you can see, there is an abundance of streaming apps for your media. I will go over those in just a second. This is the interface. 
And this is the stuff that's Netflix recommended. Peacock. That is a free service that I get from my uh, internet service provider. So I pay $45 a month for my internet and I get Peacock free. And here is Voodoo, free movies and TV. And again, there's some free movies from YouTube and free movies from Sigmu, Exumo, whatever that is. You got free movies and TV. Again, then you got more free stuff on Tubi. So why in the world should somebody spend $150 or $200 to get content from your cable or satellite when you've got all this free stuff available to you? Since most people use Wi-Fi, that's how I've got this box connected to the internet is through my 5G Wi-Fi band. So let me show you that. Okay, let's run the test. Now on the TV is bright red. It's kind of orange on this recording. But in reality, the TV is bright red. Again, I'm running 5G Wi-Fi. I have direct line of sight about 35 feet from the router to this box. Direct line of sight. So we got 226.98 download megabits per second, and that is my maximum. So 5G works well. I guess the most important thing for this box is the Netflix that supposedly plays in 4K. Well, let's find out if indeed it does. Okay, this is the test app. And on my audio receiver, I'm showing DD+. And if you look at the top, it's 30, 3840 by 2160. That is 4K and 10 BPS. If you notice, when I click on it, it shows up there. Now that is HDR, and it does play in HDR, so I've verified that. Okay, the next thing that people watch is YouTube, so let's find out if it plays in 4K. Okay, let's do a search for 4K video using the remote. 4K video. Okay, there's one. Let's try that one right there. That's the old standby. The magnum opus of cookies and milk. That is stats for nerves, and you can see it shows current and optimal resolution. It's 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. Let's do a search for 4K video at 60 frames per second. 4K video at 60 frames per second. Okay, there it is. 3840 by 2160 at 60 frames per second. Perfect. It works perfectly. Movies Anywhere app is for your videos that you have purchased and all you have is a digital copy. So that's what this is. Again, we're using my Wi-Fi, not Ethernet. So here's all my movies. So let's take a look at that one. Okay, so that's what that app looks like. Okay, for some reason this will not play in 4K. Uh, there's, I only have two devices that will actually play in 4K that I purchased ultra high definition and that is my Nvidia Shield and my TiVo Stream 4K. Those are the only two devices out of my dozens that I have that will actually play in 4K. So this will only play in HD. Okay, now it's playing in HD with Dolby Digital Plus. Now again, Google Play is the same digital media that you purchase. So uh, the Digital copies that you purchase, they're across different applications and websites that use it, so they share it. I'll show you what I mean.
Okay, here's the same movies, different applications. So again, using the Google app, it does play in 4K that I'm, a, from far as I can tell, and if you see it shows 4K. Uh, and these are the movies that I have purchased. These are just the digital copy of them. Peacock is a service that I got free for having my cable internet, my $45 cable internet package. I got Peacock free. So let's take a look at that. Okay, this is what the interface looks like. Continue watching what I was watching. Peacock picks. Just added. Now these are fairly new movies. 2004, that's new to me. Again, this is a paid service, but they give it, they give it to me free with uh, my Comcast internet. So that's Peacock. Tubi is another free service that gives you free movies and TV shows. But you have commercials on it, just like you do on regular t cable TV or satellite TV. Same thing. They're supported by commercial. Next, we have Redbox, and again, that has a lot of free uh, content. Free live TV, free on demand, movies and TV. So there's a whole lot of stuff with Redbox, free. Okay, next is Major League Baseball app. Now, I got that free with my cellular phone service, so... I got T-Mobile and they give you that free for a year for that. So that is the baseball apps. That's what they're playing so far. Okay, that's the baseball. So here are all the games that are available today. And I can watch any one of these. Most popular. So that's a pretty slick little app. And again, it came free with my cellular telephone service. Okay, next we have Envy. Now, Envy is a media server that uh, aggregates all my media and allows it to display on this particular app. So that's what this interface looks like. Now, these are all my recordings and stuff. There's my trip to uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico via Amtrak train. Well, let's take a look at the guide. This will populate in just a minute. Again, I have almost 40 channels of TV that I can select from or I can record. Now, these little dots here, that indicates that I will record it. Anyone that has not been recorded, it will record it. So, that's what that is. Oh, it did populate the rest of it. But the uh, these right here, those are the 4K channels that will not populate those. Here's the upcoming episodes movies okay that's the episodes movies this is what's coming up again we can uh, record those sports that's what's coming up soccer polo hockey hockey pga tour so anyway, you get a lot of sports from the antenna on your roof. Now let's take a look at movies. Again, these are my movies that I have ripped, that I purchased for years and years. Some of them are DVD, some are Blu-ray, and a few are 4K. So I've converted those all to a format that I can put on my hard drive so I don't have to pull out the DVDs. To watch a movie. I just do it this way. 
So if you look down at the bottom, I have 1,010 different movies, and a lot of them are recorded from my roof antenna. Take a look at TV shows. Obviously, the TV shows, these are everything that I've recorded from the antenna on the roof. And in the bottom right-hand corner, I've got 282 different series, but some of these are actually duplicates. So I recorded a lot of uh, TV shows that I will never, probably never watch. And when I'm dead and gone, all this will go into the garbage. So, But if I want to watch it, I've got it. But if I don't record them, I will never be able to watch it. Next up is Plex. Now, most people are familiar with Plex. I don't know if I should say most people, but most techies are familiar with Plex. Again, it's just like Envy. Continue watching. Uh, Popeye and Pals is on MeTV on weekends now. Amazing. And here's their uh, guide. That's what their guide looks like. And again, this is Plex, and this is using live TV from my antenna on the roof. And the same thing with movies. It's just a different format, but the same movies. TV shows, same thing. Okay, so that's Plex. Okay, now we're going to take a look at Cody. Okay, this is Cody using the Embraery skin. Let's take a look at that. Continue watching. Live channels on right now. Here's a TV guide. That's what that TV guide looks like for this with this skin. But they have different skins. On right now, latest movies, latest TV shows, suggestion. There's by generally for crime. Now playing in theaters. New movies coming soon. Now that's pretty neat there. That's what's playing in the theaters at this point in time. And this is what's coming up. And here's the list of movies. It shows you what it is, what is 1080p what uh, video codec it uses, and the audio codec. So it gives you all, the, all that information right there. Here's the TV show section, latest TV shows. You can see what kind of stuff I record. All stuff. There's a Gen Ray. Action, adventure, children, comedy. So anyway, that's the Genre. Recommended TV shows. Suggested Genre by family. So that's your TV shows. So, is this the holy grail that I've been looking for my whole life? Uh, no, it's not the holy grail. It's getting closer, but it's not there. Uh, one thing, it does not have automatic frame rate switching. And two, it does not pass through the high definition audio codec. So, that's a couple things that keeps it from becoming the holy grail. But other than that, it's a pretty nice device. I will leave a link at the bottom of the video to show you where you can purchase this device and get a 10% discount. That's right, you can get a 10% discount if you use that coupon code that I'll leave in the link below. So this works very well and it's better than the Xiaomi Mi Box. 
and it's better than most of my other boxes I've got, but it's still not the Holy Grail. So, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. Thank you.